Welcome back to the channel. We're gonna keep building up our island. Um, I've got kind of two two things that I want to do because they're not as big, so I'm trying to you know do two in one uh, video. But the first one, obviously, do a little dance. Uh, second one though, uh, or I guess one B is to uh, finish out the harbor. I've kind of laid down the foundation just because I I almost want to like go through and lay out the areas that I want to build on on the island itself and then you know come back and actually like build on it just so I kind of get an idea and that's kind of what, what I've been doing on like you know playing AF uh, playing not on the videos on the YouTube videos itself you can see I have a massive amount of supplies which is what we're gonna need honestly it's probably oh my god we actually probably need to get, gather more honestly at this point in time because we've got a lot of big plans going on and the other one I want to do is sort of like a a garden of sorts. Um, I'm. I kind of did the same thing. I wanted to lay lay the actual like foundation down first, and then kind of make it look nice. And my, the end goal I think for the most part is to not have it be wood to kind of have it be you know, nicer. Uh, but I'm gonna kind of just play with the different styles and kind of see what we go. So I, I think first and foremost though I want to start here because I want to go ahead and get everything planted. Just so by the time we come, we finish the marina, we can come back and we'll have a nice garden, maybe like a rose garden. I'm leaning towards a rose garden, um, but yeah. So first things first, we need. We're gonna have to just. It's, it's gonna be, it's gonna be an interesting day in terms of gathering supplies because we're gonna need. We, we're, 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 this is gonna be very actually just oh, across the board resource heavy. Because um, I'm thinking about turning all of these ornate, just because the, the ornate style just looks so good, so clean, and like I, I love like the kind of the metal uh, top rail. What are we gonna call that? Then we're gonna go. Oh my God, Marty out of clay. Because my plan too is to have like a little covered area right here. So in theory, like if people are coming to the actual see the garden itself, you know it's gonna be hot. You can have like a little, you know, place where you can sit down, maybe have a drink or so, and then kind of also over here, a nice overlook, overlooking the water. Come over here, kind of just relax. Probably, I'll probably cover this as well, um, just cause, and then kind of same thing over here, covered area right here, and then probably bring it this way and finish it out right over here. So that's kind of my game plan at this point in time. Once I, you know. As, as with everything, once I kind of start getting into building it, you know, kind of my, and actually starting to see how I want it to look, it may change and sort of deviate from there. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and start converting. Let me go, go, let me go grab more clay. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll convert all these to ornate just because that's, we know for sure that, that we want to go ornate. And then kind of just bring it from there. Also because I'm running out of wood very quickly. The other unfortunate thing, though, is that this uses a lot of uh, steel or iron shards, if you will. I, I kind of wanted this to kind of have like a terrace look, so like different elevations. So obviously, like you know, have you have connected here, but then here and here, you know, kind of like off on their own thing. And I might put a different kind of plant here. I'm a little bit unsure if I want to do like a tree or you know what what with it. The steps down here, and then we'll put the final ornate thing there and that'll be kind of the end the other thing that i have to do and this this is going to be kind of a big big pain in, in this is that i need obviously water towers for the for this for this uh style and it's going to be sort of nuts how i think what i'll do is i'll put one except honestly oh my god 150 holy shit Oh no. So we have to use whichever is cheapest. So this is gonna be our cheapest option. Eesh, did that, that, that really stings. All right, so what we're gonna to have to do is get the iron shards pumping quick. Oh, we'll, we'll do a little boosting. We're gonna need, oh, this is gonna really sting. Cause I just, I gathered all of this just so I can build with it. I guess the good thing is, is that aside from the, um, aside from the, Marina, I don't really need a lot of stone right now, so hopefully, I'm hoping that I can kind of get by with, you know, with minimal amount. All right, so let's go ahead and put this down. How, how far down can this reach? I, I assume this is basically going to hit this entire side, right? Yes. Yes. I'm going to have to upgrade it, though. All right, so it doesn't have a pump 
or a windmill, if you will. Oh my god. This is gonna this is gonna actually dump all my resources. Okay, so we'll put a windmill probably over here, water pump. Lord knows where. Oh, this is actually good. I can put a water pump here. Let's zoom out a little bit. Let's make it look, you know, somewhat somewhat nice. So obviously we need the the pipe needs to be going into the water. Boom. Alright, so we have that. So that's working on that. And then the other thing we need is the windmill, which is where things get real expensive. I'll probably have to do, honestly, a separate run and just go get more shards because, or uh, stone because, or maybe honestly more shards. Maybe what we'll do towards the end is just um, go and try and fight the Void Troll again. Go through that entire thing and try and get as much uh, shards as we can. What was the cheapest one again? It was, I think, 100... Pagoda, I think, was the cheapest. Yeah, 80, but 400 wood, which I think we've got. To, maybe not. Yeah, we got plenty of wood, so I think we'll, we'll do the... Yeah, this one. So we just need 80. Oh, the other thing that I, that I didn't think about is that I really don't have as much rose seeds as, I, as I'm as i thinking. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that I don't have near as much as I think I have. 63? I mean, that's not many plants and we've got a lot so maybe what i'll do for now is do a mixture and then over time i'll ideally get more rows is and then we'll just go full rows so i'm just gonna plant all of my roses not you yeah because i'm almost yeah that was actually my last one that's pretty wild and i don't have any marigold seeds Ooh, i actually might not even have enough flowers period for this, for my plan. That's why I'm trying to like do this, just so I can go ahead and get the flowers rolling, and then I can, you know, by the time I have enough supplies to build everything, I can ideally afford to um, convert totally to all roses. All right, so that's all planted. I'm gonna go sleep really quick and. Let's go ahead and load this puppy up again. The trees have all grown back. It actually looks, I really actually like it with the trees all here too. It like kind of like makes it look a little bit more natural. Because I've basically done everything in my power to deforest this entire island. Yeah, I think it, I think so far it looks really, I think it looks really good. I wonder how it would look though with stone. Or hell, if I really wanted to, I might, I might could just do like all ornate. I'm tempted to do all ornate, actually. And then maybe have, like, the actual dock itself not be ornate. Maybe, like, wood. Um, but keep it all ornate. Nope. Nope. <laughs> so you have to be closer to the pump itself. So I'll, I'll kind of put it, like, on this little, like, cliff face right here. Which is nifty. All right, now we are self-watering. I need five of these to upgrade it. I think I should. But I'm, to do that, I need a furnace, which I do not have built. I've kind of, I'm, I'm, I'm unfortunately at the point where I have actually, where I have literally spent, I've collected maybe a thousand stone and I spent it like literally like that trying to get iron shards. So what I'm gonna do now Totally focus on finishing this area out. I'm gonna upgrade all this to ornate. Um, as for, let's, let's let's think about this. What what style do we want here? I think I think we'll keep this ornate as well. I, I really I think the ornate roof looks really 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 good. So I might just do a let's think about this. I think I'll do an ornate large window there. Actually, I'm just actually gonna, gonna keep it open air. I'm gonna keep it open air. But I will do this though. I will build another series of this and that, just so it's kind of even. And I think we've got. Boom. So we'll keep that. All right. So we have three little chit or three little chairs, and we'll put in the center of that probably just a plant, right? Oh, and we're definitely going to want to, at some point, come through and put these, like, ornate lamps on it. 
that's going to be something to work towards. A little small, a little small plant. Beautiful. I think for now I'm just gonna I'm, I'll I'll put these this style candles, but I'm gonna really really want to upgrade this to um to the the ornate lamps because those the, the ornate lamps themselves look really good. Yeah, I think I want to keep it like this. I, I think this looks pretty good. I think I will add, you know, a little bit of, a little pizzazz to it, like that, and maybe something like this. I'll do two of these and one, boom, a little covered area. I like it. So you can sit out, have your coffee, watch. The, the beautiful sea. I think so far it looks pretty good. The island actually is really starting to come together. I really like this actually. You can see my ship off in the background near the harbor. It's gonna be a fun little town once we're all fun. Once we're all once we're all fun, yeah. And once we're all done. I think we'll we'll do might do a little bit. I might cheap out on this one over here, though, just because we are running out of supplies very quickly. So I might, I might just put like a circular table um, here and here. Leave this open. I do. I wish they had a bench option, like a long kind of you know just bench in general. So I think I'm gonna keep it. I think we'll just stick with the plant. There we go. We're, we're, we're good now. Same as before, I'll put... I'll just put there, and then... There. And we'll just call that good. Alright, so I, I kind of actually decided on something. I think I'm going to actually keep this open, like I said. I'm going to, though... Keep, I'm, I'm going to put maybe like... Uh, kind of conflicted here I'm actually gonna delete these for a sec and then I'm gonna put three of these like such and then do some like maybe I think I can do string likes between right like like that that looks good all right so we're gonna we'll, we'll water and then we'll, I, I guess, kind of set off on what kind of our, our next plan of action, which is going to be, first thing we're going to have to do, I'm going to do a loop and get all the stone from the machines that I have, like, throughout um, the series of islands. And then I think I'm going to take my weapon and head west to the troll cave and go through that and hope I can get more resources, which I should be able to. I'm a little bit worried about getting the marina done as well because we're just so we need so much supplies to get the garden done. So it's I'm I'm actually a little bit worried that we're not going to have time to do that as well. Which it's kind of because we're, we're basically trying to accomplish two two of the same things, and unfortunately, I didn't really realize that how resource heavy I guess kind of foolishly that I, I didn't realize it because all this farm equipment just uses so much iron shards and honestly what i might can do whenever we go back into town i might can buy a bunch of iron shards i don't remember if you can i think you might be able to or i can just buy stone because i do have a decent amount of money and with with my new like flower operation going on the garden i can possibly utilize that to you know make some more make some more dinero yeah, see, first thing we got, we got iron shards. Boom, off the drop, three. Good, 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 like to see that. Actually, before we just start doing that, we need to, oh my gosh. I, I guess the unfortunate thing though is that you don't really get a lot of iron shards. I mean, I didn't get a, I mean, I got five iron shards and three light crystals. I mean, that's really good in itself, but that's the iron shards though is, was really lovely. I mean, in that sense, this is, the iron shards were more rare or almost just as rare as the light, as the uh, light stones. Oh my God! 
Okay. Wow. We have a little bit more that we can do. Where's the big daddy one? The big daddy nest. I guess there doesn't look good. Oh, I could. I think I can sell um, Void Essence, though. But I do have a lot of that. Oh, baby. You're in my world now. Oh, come on. I do see iron. That's titanium, I think, up here. All right, so we're good there. I mean, so far, it's been pretty successful, honestly. I think what I'm going to do after this is go back to the place, drop off whatever supplies I have, and then go to the Bridgewater Island. Just because I, I feel like I'm getting... I, I've got actually gotten a lot of supplies just from doing this. Please be iron shards in here. Wow, almost machine parts. It's actually not that bad though, because I'm gonna quickly run out of machine uh, machine parts as well, and they're not as easy to get. Like you can't make them like you can iron shards. Okay, so we'll keep pressing on. This cave is endless. It will just not end. Hence being endless. Just death to all the void creatures. I am the void slayer. Hold on. What the heck? Okay, we need to talk about something real quick. Because I built this memorial for a skeleton guy. I don't know if you remember this, maybe two videos ago, maybe three videos ago, honestly, we were sailing around the ocean, we saw a dead skeleton, had a bunch of bottles around him, so we stopped and built like a little memorial for him like at the edge of the rocks and put some fruit because he probably died of scurvy, if not dehydration. Um, and a little plant because this is his, his favorite plant, I think, and a you know, an ever burning candle. And now it's gone. I mean, obviously, like my stuff is still here, which is what's in which is what's strange because but that's just totally gone now. Did they update it out, or is this one, like, one of those things where it's like a random spawn where you know it'll has a chance to spawn up somewhere and like we'll. Once you pick up the glass from it, like it'll despawn and then you know potentially spawn up somewhere else and keep doing like that, which I I find that odd though. Maybe they just maybe they removed it in one of the updates. Let's throw it right into the old marina. Perfect. Yeah, I'm 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 not feeling too confident about being able to get to the uh, building the marina today. Cause we are very much so out of supplies. Or time, time, I guess is probably the more apt thing to be out of. All right, so I'm gonna throw this down. Wait, how much does this cost to build? 25 iron shards? I guess we can break it down though once we have our, once we get our bars in. Seems so like kind of wasteful though. Yeah, this is just stupid. Okay, you know what? The, we, we don't really have the supplies to do that. So we're just gonna break this down. We'll, we'll, we'll do this whenever we get back in. Actually, before we even go back in though, these mature? Yes, perfect. So we're gonna just go ahead and harvest these now. And we're good. Finally, we've got, we got everything harvested and replanted. And we got a decent amount of seeds from that too. Because the plan basically is to minimize, re reduce the amount of blueberries that are required. Let's see what we got here. I thought we'd be, we'd have way more, honestly. Do I not have any more? No, I don't. Shit. Okay, that's not good. Right, let's go check out Bridgewater. I, I, I'm hoping that the blacksmith sells iron shards because if, they, if he does, I'm gonna dump all of my money into buying iron shards. I can also wait until nighttime and sell all, a bunch of my void essence because I have almost maxed out actually. So yeah, let's definitely do that. I think she'll I can sell a bunch of my stuff to her now. Ah, oh, she's out of funds. Shucks. Does he, he doesn't buy anything. Oh, you can play blackjack. It's a little bit risky right now. Alright, so you can't buy... Oh, you can't buy iron shards from him. You used to be able to. But you can't now. I guess you can always just buy... Yeah, I can buy stone, right? 
Yeah, I could buy stone from him. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe, maybe I'll just buy stone. All right, now we're going to go find Celeste and sell our Void Essence to her. Wait. What? Oh, there she goes. I was like, what? It just appears out of nowhere. Dang, that's really not as much as I thought that she would be selling it for. All right, well, we got that anyway, so whatever. Good enough. And eventually I'll have to I'll need to build so kind of on my my list of things to build over on well hello Mr. Tree. Whoa. My list of things to build over on the island still out are uh, obviously I need to finish out the garden, the rose garden, and then the next obviously is the marina, and then the next and more than likely final would be kind of like a like a, uh, a house for the mayor, e.g. me, because I'm the mayor of the island now. All right, so I'll buy however much I can carry. I just need 60. Perfect, and we're good. Do I need, can I buy, should I buy anything else while I'm here? Oh, well, I guess while I'm over here, I might as well you know, look into buying one of these swords. The Titanium Claymore is now mine all right so we're back and we're finally back I feel like we've just been sailing around for hours at this point in time but we're finally back and we have i need to grab some of this and we should be able to upgrade the water tower to a i think it should be 12 is that right i can't click on it but oh 14. so i can upgrade it again which will it th it then will include Okay, that's actually more impressive than I thought. I thought it was going to go like 8 to 12. I think it goes to 18, doesn't it? 150, 10, and 25, which we have the 25, no problem. But so which ones is it hitting now? I mean, it's hitting. So I wish there was a way to like turn on. Because now I can't really tell. I guess it's like... Hmm. Yeah, so it's hitting a bunch of these. So that's nice. So all of these are, are hit. Even maybe across the way we can probably get to. Well, that's nifty. That is very nifty. Okay, so that's good. My only concern with this is that I might not be able to reach... Over here is going to be where it's going to be tough. But I think this will look good right here. I guess it will expand. So I'll, I'll kind of like try and put it. I, mean, I can always like deconstruct it and then rebuild it. But my concern though is that this might be able to hit. I don't think it will though. I really don't think it will. So we'll, we'll, we'll just put it right here. Um, I need seven of these for the pump. But I need a windmill first. This would be nice to upgrade. I just need ten and I can get... I might push for this. I, I might push to upgrade this and see how, see what's covered and see what's not. All right, so we got exactly 10. I am gonna upgrade this one first because I can, because this one's fully automated. So I don't have to worry about filling it up with water. Because I wanna see how far this can stretch out before, because I feel like that that's the best way to make sure that I'm not, um, you know, kind of you know double dipping into certain areas. So we're going to upgrade this and see what all that includes. Because if it covers, we'll just play it by, oh, that looks really cool. I don't think I have a fully upgraded ornate one. But I really love the aesthetics of this. Okay, so we have to like walk away and come back. There we go, max level 24? Um, what the? I had no idea. Yeah, okay. I, don't, I think this is my first maxed out water tower. I think I stopped it at 18, but yeah, literally 19 out of 24. The only ones that I guess it can't reach. I mean, these are all covered. All of these are covered. All of these are covered. This is covered. I think it just physically can't reach these over here. So then this, we'll, we'll be fine with just two then. That's, that's perfect. 
That's absolute. Uh, no, yeah. Actually, you know what? I might even can just because this one's not even. I think it's only 19. It, it can hold five, five more plots. I honestly may just build some like tree ones behind or you know down over here or something. Wow, that is actually impressive. I had no idea. 24 plots. That's clutch. Okay, so then th that's 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 great news. That that means that all we have to do now is build a water pump and build a windmill for this one and we'll and we're fully automated. Now the, the rest we have to do is just, you know, grind out um, for new seeds. So I think we'll go so have 44 I think what I'll have to do, this will probably be kind of the, like the end of the video right now. I know that we didn't even touch the marina, unfortunately, but we just got too bogged down in this. Um, what I'm going to do sort of AF, or not AF, I keep saying AFK. Um, what we'll do kind of, I'll do like in the, in, the, in the back of the scenes is just go crazy again, harvest a bunch of stone, just because it kind of gets monotonous, so I'm sure you guys don't want to watch that. Um, but basically just go through this whole process and just grind out materials I'll build like we'll build a windmill probably in the next video we'll finish out build a windmill pump and then you know start building the marina up since now all we have to do is just basically wait to get as many roses as possible so it's kind of yeah so that yeah so uh, to kind of in the video up this is you know our uh, our, our our garden I'm on the island that's still unnamed I was still gonna like work on I guess trying to find out a name I'm I was hoping that you guys could help me out but you know so far, no one's uh, given me any other uh, great suggestions. So if you have anything, drop it in the comments. I'll take it in consideration when I'm going through and thinking more on uh, the, the name for this beautiful island. But yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.